Happy Tuesday. Take a moment, take a breath. Relax and listen to God's word. And we're continuing in Matthew 25 in this parable of uh, the wise and the foolish bridesmaids. At midnight, Jesus said, there was a cry, behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all ten, then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish one said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, no, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. So in this parable, it might seem like the bridesmaids that have the extra oil might be, are, are being selfish, but a couple of things to take away there. Number one is that if they give the oil to the other bridesmaids, they might run out and therefore the groom will not be welcomed into the wedding feast. But here's something else we learned from this parable that Jesus is teaching us is that when it comes to our good deeds and investing our lives in God's kingdom, whether by doing good deeds and investing financially, Nobody else can do that for us, right? That's up to us. We have to take personal responsibility for our lives, which is what the oil represents, to shine brightly for others. So we can't depend upon others to do that for us. So let's pray for the grace to, to in, just internalize that message and be intentional with our lives like the wise bridesmaids. Heavenly Father, uh, help us to learn from this parable to be intentional, to be strategic, to think a bit ahead about how we can invest our lives and our finances in building your kingdom so that we may usher you in to the wedding feast and be part of the wedding feast. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for participating in our daily practice. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. You can be part of our mission to love God, love others, and make disciples by sharing this video. We're grateful you're part of this community.